hi everyone welcome to my channel uh, i am rahul so today i am going to solve one of the problems related to linked list so problem statement is something like this so we are given a number which is uh, represented as a linked list and we basically have to add number one to it so to get into detail of that question let's uh, try to solve it on lead code okay so it requires a premium account to access the question so let's try to solve it on some another platform uh, we can solve it on geeks for geeks as well <coughs> so there is a practice section uh, for this so some problem statement is something like uh, a number n is represented in linked list such that each digit corresponds to a node in linked list so we need to add one to it so 456 is the number so it is represented as 4 5 and 6 so 456 plus 1 is 457 so we have to return the head pointer to this 4 node if the number is 123 so the output will be 124 so the question looks uh, I guess straightforward like we uh, go over to the end of the linked list and we just uh, basically add 1 to the last node of the linked list so the only case I guess like uh, that we need to handle separately is uh, if the last node itself is like 9 right so we need to somehow uh, like uh, revert back the carry flag to the previous node so in this case if the like uh, if the linked list is suppose 129 129 is the number so the output will be 130 so basically uh, we incremented 9 by 1 which will be 10 and the carry flag has been propagated to this previous node. So let's try to implement the cases for which like it's much easier. So I'm going to solve it using C++. Mm. Remove this code. So basically I'm declaring one variable card called carry which is initialized to 1 because we have to increment uh, the linked list by 1 and I am defining one helper function which is return which will return me a head of the linked list I'm passing this head pointer and this carry flag so let me declare this helper function here And what I'm going to do is I'm passing this carry flag as by reference. So if you are not sure how like what is the difference between pass by value and pass by reference, so I would recommend you go through that uh, documentation of C ones. <coughs> so if pass by reference, I'm passing it uh, because like if uh, the carry flag is one, uh, or like if the carry flag is updated during the process of like going to the end of the linked list, then like it has to be taken care of in the further recursion calls so once i like write down this code here you will uh, get a clear understanding why this carry flag has been passed as reference if head is null then we can just directly return null and going I, uh, recursively to the end of the linked list I am doing a recursion call here <coughs> yeah so one basic check I need to do so here I need to make a check if the carry flag is one right so I have reached to the end of the linked list by using this recursion if the carry flag is one which will be one uh, like initially so in that case I have to check if the value at the current node if it is less than 9 right so it's a very simple case we just have to increment that value by 1 and we have to update that carry flag to 0 because the further updation of the previous nodes won't happen so like in this case 1 2 3 we reached to this last node 3 and 3 is obviously less than 9 so we increment this 3 to 4 so 1 2 4 
right so and the carry flag does not need to be propagated to the previous nodes because we don't need to do any change in the, them so we have uh, made that carry flag as zero here if this is not the case like if the head data is equal to 9 so we will come inside this else condition in that case head data will be 0 right so <coughs> if the linked list was 129 right 129 so the 9 would have been replaced by 0 and the carry would have been propagated to this 2 this node 2 so we don't need to explicitly mention carry equal to 1 here because carry was already 1 so we can skip this and if carry is already 0 then we don't need to do anything we just now directly return head from here so we have come back to this uh, fun call function call so here we need to handle two of the edge cases so if the linked list is itself null and uh, in that case we like if uh, the head pointer itself is null so in that case we would be returning null from this helper function and this answer variable would also be null so we need to handle that and the other case is if all the mm, you know uh, numbers in the linked list are suppose 9 9 so if the linked list would have been 9 9 9 so in that case the answer would have been 1 0 0 so in this case we have to create one extra node which will be like added to the beginning of the linked list so to handle the first case if the linked list is null so in that case answer would be null so let's mention that if answer is equal to equal to null or or if the carry flag that was passed as reference to this helper function if it is still one right even after all the function calls if it is still one which means that all the values are 999 nine, nine in the linked list like if if there would have been value even less than 9 in the linked list then the carry flag would have been updated to 0 in this helper function itself so if all the variables all the numbers are basically 9 then the carry flag would be uh, like retained as 1 so in this case we would create one more node let's suppose temp um, new node value as uh, 1 and we can mark <coughs> temp next as answer we can directly return temp so this if condition is uh, used to handle these two cases if the linked list is empty or if all the numbers are 9 otherwise we can directly like return answer i guess this should be able to handle all the edge cases we are uh, checking for carry equal to 1 no need to check for carry equal to 0 mm, yeah let's try to compile it okay so for 456 the answer is coming out to be 457 it is submitted okay so yeah all the cases have passed so total time taken is 0 0.0 by 1.1 okay so yeah so like this problem was like quite easy like in itself like here we got to understand few of the concepts like how do we like basically re uh, recursively uh, go to the end of the linked list right and how do we pass a variable which can be used as reference uh, like in the further recursion calls so this is a very good problem to understand a few of the concepts that are like basically uh, like mostly asked in the interview so like, like this question was asked to me in the salesforce in salesforce uh, interview so i would recommend you guys to like definitely try to solve it uh, by yourself once and uh, yeah i will uh, keep on posting further uh, videos for questions like which are mostly asked in the interviews so up till next time yeah thank you